I love the flavours of Morocco. To me, they sing out sunshine, and fantastic vegetarian food. Today, I'm going to prepare a Moroccan style brique, uh, which is basically a, a crisp parcel. For the actual filling for the brique itself, we've got some good old cauliflower and some orange sweet potato. And what we're going to do now is make a little marinade that's going to really make this dish sing together now. And I'm going to take some garlic, I'm going to take some cumin. Again, a lot of Moroccan flavours are sweet and spicy, but not hot spicy. Some chopped coriander, just to go in there. Again, one of my favourite herbs. We're going to add some smoked paprika. And then we've got harissa, about a good teaspoonful of that. And then we're going to make that, just to finish it off with a little bit of lemon juice, just to really bring all this all together. And some olive oil. And we're going to leave this to marinate for about an hour. Overnight it won't hurt, but again, a minimum of an hour, really to let those flavours mingle in with the vegetables. So again, give that a good mix. And we put that into the fridge now for about an hour to say, ideally, I'll leave mine overnight. Okay, we've marinated those vegetables now for about an hour, again, overnight, as I say. And I've literally just put that into the oven and roasted it around about 175, 200 degrees for about 25 minutes. Some of the vegetables are just, just cooked through. And I'm gonna transfer that to a bowl, ideally to cool. Again, that lovely smell of those spices. The harissa's just, uh, to do its work in there really is beautiful. Here I've got some cooked spinach. Just going to chop my spinach, add that to my brick mix. A little bit more coriander and finally some feta cheese. So I'm just literally going to take that feta and break it into fairly large pieces. And there we have our mix. I'm now going to just check the seasoning again, I'm giving it a good mix, bringing the whole thing together. So I'm squeezing the cheese so it's beginning to slightly work with the vegetables. So the actual brique itself now, you could use spring roll pastry if you find it difficult to get this. And what I've got here is a little bit of olive oil and I'm just with a brush around the outside. I like to use two as a base. So I'm going to just take the, put another one on top. And again, take a little bit more of my oil. I take some of our mix and we place it into the center. With this dish, you're gonna convert any meat eater into a vegetarian, believe me. So what I'm gonna do now is take my thing over and literally push it over to one side and I'm literally going to push down on the outsides. I'm then going to fold over, when I'm ending up with an actual, with a square, I'm going to go over to this side, pushing down and folding over. What we're going to do now is to take our brick, seam side down, and put it onto a tray, a greaseproof paper or foil here, give a final little brush of the oil again, and that'll go into a hot oven for about 10 minutes at 200 to become lovely, crisp and golden. Okay, so what we're gonna serve with that brique is one of my favorite little dishes, which is a pomegranate and chili yogurt. Here I've got some good natural Greek style yogurt and some chopped green chili. And all I'm gonna do there is add it to again and how I like, and I'm gonna mix that in. And I'm gonna add in some of my pomegranates, keeping some a little bit for garnish later. Again, just fold that through. That really works well. With our dish today, we could serve that on its own, we could serve that with a salad. Here I've taken some yellow courgettes, some red peppers, some aubergine, and I've just seasoned them with a little bit of olive oil and some cumin. So I've got this lovely little mixture of vegetables, lots of color. How's that looking? Beautiful. So there's our brick, beautifully and crispy, just sitting on there. So then we're gonna take some of our beautiful pomegranate yogurt. I'm just gonna put a little dob on the side there. I'm gonna put a little drizzle of olive oil around the outside. And finally, I'm going to take a few more of those lovely little pomegranate seeds and accentuate the colours there. We can finish that off, these beautiful colours of red amber. But you could use a coriander, parsley, anything there to bring the thing together. And there we have a very simple dish that the vegetarians, I know they're going to love it. There's a Moroccan-style brique with feta and coriander. Bon appétit.